I'm Bob Kendrick, president of the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum, and we're thrilled to partner with MLB The Show to take you on a journey back to the Negro Leagues and introduce you to some of the baddest brothers and sisters to ever play this game. I ain't no joke. I used to let the mic smoke. Now I slam it when I'm done and make sure it's broke. When I'm gone, no one gets on. Cause I won't let nobody press up and mess up the scene I set. I like to stand in a crowd and watch the people wonder. But think about it, then you understand. I'm just a to music, maybe it's a habit. I gotta use it, even if it's jazz or the quiet storm. I hook a beat up, convert it into hip hop form. Write a rhyme in graffiti and every show you see me in deep concentration. Cause I'm no comedian. Jokers are wild if you wanna be tame. I treat you like a child, then you're gonna be named. Cause I ain't no joke. joke. The story of the Negro Leagues is not an African-American story. It is an all-American story. You see, it's the kind of story that we as Americans have typically embraced. Because it's a story about pride, passion, perseverance, determination, the refusal to accept the notion that you're unfit to do anything. You won't let me play with you in the major leagues? Okay. I'll create a league of my own. That league, the Negro Leagues, was established right here in Kansas City on February 13, 1920, when Andrew Root Foster led a contingent of eight independent black baseball team owners into a meeting held at the Paseo YMCA. Out of that meeting came the birth of the Negro National League the first successful organized black baseball league. The Negro Leagues would then go on to operate remarkably for 40 years, from 1920 until 1960. They would not only change the game, but more importantly, they would change this country for the better. The circumstances that dictated a need for a Negro Leagues were sorrowful. Segregation was a horrible chapter in this country's history. But out of segregation rose this wonderful story of triumph and conquest. And that's the story that should be celebrated. These are the legends. These are their stories. This is the Negro Leagues. Station.